Continuing our look into scripting, it is time that we did something a little more exciting. Now, let's change our script's name to, for example, respawn. And let's make sure that when our character falls off the platform and is plunging into nothingness, that he doesn't keep falling forever. Because right now, when I play my game and I walk my character off of the edge, you can see I keep falling and falling and falling and falling, and it never stops. So if your user were to play this game and there was no escape button or menu then there's no way to uh, cancel the game and the game wouldn't be a lot of fun when he doesn't respawn. So let's write the script that we need for that. Click the edit button to open up our script editor and let's get rid of everything that's in there and let's type back our function update. Now the update function is predefined in Unity and it's called every time the engine renders a frame. Now to give you some idea you probably know that in animation or in video it's about usual to have 29 frames per second so that the human eye doesn't see it's still images but it's actually an animation. And the same thing happens in a game engine. The game engine has a couple frames per second and on fast computers that could be hundreds and on slower computers that could be 30 and anything under that should not be very very good so that's up to the game designer to improve. So the update function is called once every time a frame is rendered. So it gives us a couple hundred times a second to check if our character is out of range. So we will add this code inside our update function. Now let me show you something new and that is an if statement. The if statement looks a lot like a function but it doesn't have a function name as you can see with the function update. It's simply an if statement. Now in the if statement you can check certain variables and in this case I'm going to use a variable that is already predefined by Unity. I'm going to type transform dot position dot y. Now this is the y or the vertical position of whatever this script is attached to. So if we attach this script to our player then it will be about the y position of our current player character. Now if this position is smaller than minus 200 then the if statement is true and everything within these accolades will be performed in code. Now let me attach this script to our character by dragging it right on top of the player and as you can see I have attached it right here. Now I accidentally have a double one so if you want to remove it just right click it and say remove script. But as you can see, the respawn script is already attached here. Now our character standardly starts at an X, Y, and Z of 0, 1.2, and 0. So let's round this up to 2, for example, just to make things easier. So if our character falls off the platform, we want to set the position back to 0, 2, and 0. So let's do that inside of our if statement. Let's set our transform dot position dot y back to 2 and close with a semicolon. Now let's copy and paste these twice for the other two variables. And set these to 0. Now notice that the if statement does is as soon as we're in the update function which should be a couple hundred times a second or at least 30 times a second then it hits the if statement and checks if our position is smaller than minus 200. If that is true, the code within the accolades is being executed and it sets the y position, the x position, and the z position to these values. Now let me save this script. Go back and play to run our game. And now when I walk off the platform, as soon as I hit minus 200, you will notice I am already reset on the platform. It was kind of sudden because I was looking up so most of the times in games you also set the rotation of the character back to what it was or something like that or have some effects some respawn effects but we'll have to learn those things later. So now you know how an if statement works. Now you can extend an if statement with an else statement and the else statement is basically if this is not true 
then everything within the accolades for the else statements is being executed. That's very easy to understand. Also, there's another one that I like to teach you, which is called the switch statement. And switch statements actually switch between certain values that can be true for a variable. But I'll show you more about that in the next video.